The NBA's efforts to vaccinate all of its players just got a massive jolt from none other than LeBron James, who'd been silent for months. After doing my research and things of that nature, I felt like it was best suited for not only me, but for my family and for my friends. What does LeBron James' decision to get vaccinated mean for the NBA? That means the face of the league is now on board. LeBron James has always been a guy that's a trendsetter, an example setter, and this is no different. According to the NBA, around 90% of the league has reportedly received a shot. And the athletic Shams Charania says two marquee franchises, the Knicks and Lakers, will have fully vaccinated rosters by season start. But other big-name players are pushing back. This is none of your business. That's what it comes down to. <laughs> you know, I don't ask you guys about your beliefs. I mean, some people have bad reactions to the vaccine. Nobody likes to talk about that. The NBA doesn't require players to be vaccinated, but those sitting on the sidelines for shots will face more stringent testing and rules. New York and San Francisco are issuing the requirement for home teams, meaning any player on the Knicks, Nets, or Warriors who isn't vaccinated could risk missing all home games and docked pay by management. For some players, getting shots on the court means getting shots off of it, too. Sam Brock, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.